Hey YouTube, this is Techsavvy Solution here, and I'm here with another video tutorial explaining how to get your Samsung Galaxy S into recovery mode. I'm using the international version of the Samsung Galaxy S, the i9000. As you can see, it has only three keys, it's not the vibrant. I'll be outlining three different ways to get your phone to recovery mode. You don't have to use all three, but just in case one of one or two of them don't work, you know, you have some options to choose from. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the first way to get your phone to recovery mode. This way is what I call the manual way because um, you only have your phone and you don't need the computer or anything. So what you want to do first is hold the volume up button, hold the power button, and then hold the home button all at the same time. Now this part gets a little tricky because after the Samsung logo goes up, comes up, then you want to let go of the power button. So just wait for that to boot up. Let go of the power button. Then when you get to the recovery screen, let go of all buttons. Okay, there we go. Now the reason why I had you let go of all buttons once you got to the recovery screen is because you see the reboot system now is highlighted. Um, if we were to continue holding the home button, that also serves a, as a select button. So the recovery screen might have taken that as a command to go reboot the system. And then you wouldn't have been able to stay on recovery mode. So that's why when we got to the image, we just have to let go of all the buttons. So let me just walk through the controls of the recovery mode. Um, so you use the volume buttons to go up or down. Down or up. And then you use the home button as a select button. So reboot system now is pretty self-explanatory. Again, I said before it'll reboot your system. The apply SD card update.zip is to flash any custom themes or any custom ROMs or even lag fixes. Um, they come in the zip format, but what you have to do is rename whatever you want to flash into update.zip so that this recovery mode image will be able to detect it and flash it to your phone. Wipe data factory set is again self-explanatory. Um, it wipes your phone of all the data, of all the settings, and sets it up as if it's a new phone. Wipe cache partition, um, you'd want to select this option and the wipe data factory reset if you want to flash a new ROM. Um, that way you can avert uh, some of the issues that you might have with flashing a ROM. Just to wipe everything clean and flash with a new ROM. So these are what the two options are for. So right now we're just going to reboot the system now and I'll show you the second way to get your phone to recovery mode once the phone boots up. And we're going to press the home key of course. Alright, so while that's booting up, I'm going to go to the computer and you have to make sure that you have ADB installed. I'm going to go to computer and then I'm going to go to local C, local disk C. And you want to make sure that your ADB is Android SDK, that is named Android SDK, and that it's on your local C disk. You're going to double click that if you haven't started it up already. If you haven't installed it already, you want to double click on extension, exe. You're going to click yes. This is going to come up, but ignore that. And then usually um, you might get an error that says like cannot download or whatever, but just uh, close this and then go to settings and make sure under miscellaneous that force HTTPS, whatever, um, make sure this is checked and then go to available packages and then select all and then you can install selected and you will have it installed onto your computer, which is what you need for the second way to get your phone to recovery mode. So if you're on Vista or higher, like Windows 7, um, you want to go to your start menu and then type CMD to the search and then press enter and that will get you to your command prompt. So the first thing you want to go ahead and type in is CD and backslash. That will get you to your C, your C disk. 
And then what you want to do is type in Android SD. Okay. And you'll notice that this is the same name or the same name the file that you put on the local C disk for your ADB. And then you're going to do the backslash again. And tools. ADB. Reboot. Recovery. Okay. Now you notice that that didn't work, right? You have to plug in your phone. Okay, missed that step. So first we're going to go to settings. And then we're going to go to applications. Development. Make sure USB debugging is checked. And then we can go ahead and plug in our phone. Sorry about that. Alright, so you notice that now I have to type this whole thing over again, but here's a quick way to type everything that we typed before. Just press this button, and it'll magically type, retype everything, so it's just a useful tip. We're going to press enter, and you'll notice that the phone is entering recovery mode. Alright, so that's the second way to get your phone to recovery mode. I'm just going to reboot the system now and show you the third way. So I think the third way is going to be the most easiest way for you guys. Um, it involves an application called ROM Manager. You can install ROM Manager from the market. And I'll show you that in a little bit as the phone reboots. And we don't need to have the phone plugged in anymore. We can take it out. So let me just do that. Right, and we'll probably get through this. And you're gonna go to your app drawer, and if you already had the Samset ROM installed onto your phone, um, this application is already included. Show you. Um, it's always lags a bit when it first starts up, but it's called ROM Manager. You're gonna click that. If you don't have it, you can search on the Android market and go ahead and download it. Okay, so what we're, what we're going to do is flash the clockwork mod recovery. And you're going to select your phone num your phone model. In this case, I'm using the international version, so the i9000. Let's click back. I accidentally clicked the flash um, twice. So uh, here are just some of the other things that you can do with ROM Manager before I go reboot into recovery mode. Um, you can install a ROM from the SD card. You can manage and restore backups. Uh, you can fix permissions to solve any errors or partition the SD card if you're going to use apps to SD. And if the current clockwork recovery doesn't work, you can flash an older version that might that you might have better luck with. So right now we're just going to click reboot into recovery. And we're going to click OK. And that's pretty much it. It'll get your phone into recovery mode. But you'll notice that this recovery image is going to be a little bit different and have a little more, um, well actually a lot more options to choose from. So you see that the text is green this time. And I'm going to just note that the controls are a bit different. Um, you still have the volume buttons to go up and down in the menu, but this time you have the back button serving as the enter button and the menu button serving as the back button. So it's kind of mixed up. So uh, reboot system now and the next 
four options are about the same as the ones that we've seen in the stock recovery image, including the Android phone. But the thing that's different over here is the install zip from SD card, because if we go press the back button or forward button, um, it'll take us to more options. We can either apply SD card or apply the SD card update.zip, which is the same, or we can choose a zip from the SD card. And if we do that, then it'll show us the whole file system of our phone's internal memory or the internal SD card memory. And then you can go ahead and like scroll to whatever update.zip that you have. Like this is the apps SD one, the one above. Of course, I'm not going to do anything, so I'm going to go back. And the last two options, I don't use them, so you probably don't need them either. An Android backup will back up your ROM um, in case, like, uh, you want to flash a new ROM and then things don't work out. You can always reflash to the old ROM and then do it in Android Restore, and it'll restore all your settings and all your applications. The partitions menu is to partition your SD card. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, I would not recommend playing around with this. And then the advanced menu um, is again, if you don't know what you're doing, don't mess around with this. So that's just a walkthrough of the regular recovery image and this clockwork mod recovery image and the three ways that you can get your phone into recovery mode. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if so, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.